Is there, what if a person doesn't remember all his sins? Is there a way to expiate or remove all his sins? Uh, sins are of two uh, types in, uh, according to this. Sins that we remember versus sins that we don't remember. The sins that we remember, of course, a person has to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from them. The ones that we remember, either they're major or minor sins. If it's major sins, it requires a specific repentance. And if it uh, requires uh, some form of expiation, the expiation has to be done, kafara, feeding or fasting or whatever. Or if it's something to do with the rights of others, these rights have to be observed. Giving back the money that you took, uh, making dua for the one that you backbited, things like this, uh, if a person remembers. If it's uh, you remember, but it's from the minor sins here or there, uh, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness in general uh, and uh, to fulfill the conditions of repentance, uh, leaving the sin, having the determination to leave it and, and the regret. The sins that we don't remember, right? The person does not remember the sins. Then in that case, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for all sins. And that's, that's some of the words of the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, that as we heard some of it, Allahumma ghafir li ma qaddamtu wa ma akhartu wa ma asartu wa ma a'lant wa ma anta a'lamu bihi min and what you know of me that I do not know. So some of these hadith of the dua would include the sins that you don't even remember. Uh, if you're in doubt, maybe you don't remember and it requires some form of uh, maybe money that needs to be paid or something like this, give charity. Once in a while, give charity with that intention, maybe something in the past. Or make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for all of those that you backbited throughout your life, that you don't remember them in names. You make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of them or give charity on behalf of all of them at once. Uh, things like this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiver.